being you is all that the Creator wants. And by being you, you're actually earning whatever you need to earn to get what you want. Exactly. That is the work that you are supposed to do in order to get everything you want. You're kind of true in your perspective. This whole idea about you need to work hard to get to where you want to be, there's a core of it that is true. That's why so many people believe in it. It's just completely distorted. The core of it that is true is you need to be in alignment with yourself. That's what you need to work at in order to attract everything you desire. That is the earning that you do. When you're in alignment with yourself, that is what you get. You get abundance, you get love, you get joy, you get support, endless amounts of it. When you're not in alignment, it's going to support you in a more distorted way so that you can wake up and put yourself back in alignment because that's key. That is the work that you're doing. The work that you're doing doesn't have to be for the world on a physical, visible level all the time. It doesn't mean you have to pay your dues or like earn your respect or earn your worthiness. You already have your innate worthiness. But in order to be in a vibrational state necessary to attract and perceive that physically, you need to be in a proper vibrational state. The proper vibrational state is bliss. So yes, that is the answer. Thank you. So be in your bliss and that's the work that will earn you everything you want. That is the work you're expected to do, is to be in bliss all the time. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. And as a, general, as a general tip, you need to sort of forget about your desires sometimes, meaning stop comparing what you want with where you're at. Because that's one of the most prevalent, obvious, common, destructive ways to actually undermine your process. Many of you are already halfway there, if not more. Many of you are right at the precipice where it gets the most intense and you get the most challenged, and then you go all the way back. Not knowing, not seeing that right beyond your own blinded edge, Everything you've ever asked for is waiting for you. You were right there. Foot was already in the fucking door. <laughs> but you had to go, nope, that hurts. So what we do is we focus on what is. And when we focus on what is, our vibration takes on the shape of what is. Now if what is is not yet a reflection of what we want it to be, then our vibration becomes what it's not yet desired, what is not desired, sorry, and then you attract more of what is not desired, and so you're going back home, in a sense. You're not going to your destination, which is your actual home. Does that make sense? So yes, be in bliss as often as you can, and you'll notice that you'll get out of bliss as soon as you refer to your circumstances to define how you are doing. Never take your cue from your circumstances to feel how you are doing. Remember, always feel like you're the most confident person in the room. The most confident person in the room does not feel like it's doing a bad job, ever. It's always convinced of itself, open to learning, open to honesty, integrity, but it knows it's always in alignment with itself. It's knowing who it is. It's knowing what it's wanting. Right? So don't compare what you want with where you're at. Because you are where you say you're at. You're not actually where your circumstances suggest you're at. You are where you state that you are at. So keep stating that you are at where you want yourself to be. If you keep doing that while you're in bliss, well, that will be your bliss. So that will be a natural navigator, natural guidance system, being in the bliss in that way, knowing that you are where you want to be no matter what, knowing that you are accomplished no matter what, knowing that you are who you want to be no matter what, then you're not looking at your circumstances to define yourself. And when you define yourself based on how you want to define yourself, then physical circumstances, the mirror that you're looking in, will have to reflect your facial expression, your vibrational attitude in this case. So don't look at your circumstances to define where you're at. Always pretend that you're one step away from achieving everything you've ever wanted for. Feel that excitement. Feel that anticipation. Feel that it's already a done deal. No matter what. No matter what. Feel that. Feel that. And have the eyes to see that sometimes maybe higher self is guiding you in a direction that's even more profitable, in a direction that's even more desirable. So maybe you think you want this certain thing, and it seems to be a struggle. And then you say, no, but I know it's already here. I feel the anticipation of it. And then it's still a struggle. But no, no, no. Maybe it's pointing you in a different, more effortless direction that's actually a higher representation of your joy. Maybe you're not meant to get that house or get that car or play that song, or be with that person. Maybe you're meant to be with an even better person. Maybe that better for you. Maybe you're meant to drive a different car that will serve you better. Maybe you're meant to be in a different house or a different country. 
Sometimes we don't know for sure if the choices we think we want, because they represent something that excites us, is actually the end result that's in our highest interest. Sometimes it looks different, but it's even more representative of our truest, highest excitement. So always overpower your circumstances by forgetting about it and only defining your success as you want it to be. Define yourself to be where you want to feel yourself being. And also, if something keeps knocking on your door, allow yourself to shift awareness, to expand your vision of who you are and what you might actually be wanting. It might be different than you started out with. The initial desire, representation, symbol, house, living, a situation, country, person, relationship, bank account, car situation, might have only been there to activate you to go in that direction. But then once you go there, because you didn't have access to the other thing yet, and it wasn't relevant to reveal that to you yet, so it reveals to you the next best thing. So now you're fixated on that. When you're fixated on that, something's already a little off. You can feel the desire and the joy of that symbol triggering it in you, but you should never be fixated on the end result. Only be fixated on the vibrational end result, which is how you want to feel when you're there. But now you can take that feeling and move it in a different spot. Right when you're about to arrive where you thought you wanted to be, it's hitting you a little bit off course, which is actually closer to your true alignment. And now suddenly this whole thing pops up that is fucking surprising you and unexpected, coming out of nowhere, but it's exactly what you wanted. And then you go, oh yeah, I remember. I wanted this particular thing, but actually there were a few things I didn't quite didn't quite resonate as much, but overall it was the best thing I could think about. But this is even better. So also be open to it in that way. But vibrationally, never define yourself based on your circumstances. And never get fixated on outcome. If you do that and you stay in your bliss, everything will rush your way. Very quickly. Let it come in unexpected ways. Just feel the abundance, feel the love, feel the bliss, feel the freedom, feel the sense of purpose. Feel the sense of integrity, the sense of love that you have for yourself and this planet. And let all that bliss follow you around wherever you go. Okay? Thank you. I appreciate your time and your consciousness and I hope you appreciate yours as well. Every single second of every single moment of your life is precious. Do not waste it on irrelevancies. Spend it where it's well worth spending. How do you know? It feels expensive. It feels good. It feels exciting. It feels beneficial. It feels like it's worth, worthy of your time and energy. Make yourself specific. Make yourself vibrational creators. Make yourself crystallized expressions of your soul here on earth. Become a transparent, crystallized manifestation of your soul on earth. Okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you all very much.